हे गाइस हेलो एंड वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल एंड आई एम एक्सट्रीमली हैप्पी दैट आई एम टॉकिंग साइकाइट्री फॉर योर यू एस स्टेप वन एग्जाम एंड यू नो व्हाट ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम आई फाउंड दैट देर आर लिमिटेड नंबर ऑफ रिसोर्सेज फॉर साइकाइट्री ऑन द ऑनलाइन प्लेटफॉर्म्स एंड दैट्स वट फोर्स मी और मोटिवेटेड मी टू मेक अ सीरीज ऑफ वीडियो लेक्चर्स ऑन साइकाइट्री एंड ट्राई टू फिनिश साइकाइट्री एज मच एज आई नो so there are some golden rules for covering psychiatry and mastering the psychiatry the first thing is that you should recognize that psychiatry is not a subject like medicine or surgery where there are concepts and uh, you just understand the concepts and uh, that's all psychiatry is more of a thing that uh, where a two way interaction is must so there is a two way interaction in case of psychiatry like you have always keep yourself and start talking with yourself about the psychiatry like major mood disorders like schizophrenia talk with yourself about psychiatry it's not about something there is a concept you know that's all that's all no you you have to constantly talk otherwise you will forget you you can understand the psychiatry psychiatry is so easy to understand but to remember the psychiatry you have to talk and talk and talk psychiatry like daily 10 15 minutes daily do it for month or two months and you will master the psychiatry that is my own experience so secondly you have to do questions questions are very important when it comes to psychiatry because they will help you to know that whether you have grasped the things they are important so you have to do the questions so these are the things like a two way interaction with yourself and doing the questions that is the idea of psychiatry and this is these videos are not going to be like super speedy videos in which i just cover the whole scenario in 5 minutes if i feel like i have to talk i have to give 10 examples i will give 10 examples um, like i will teach like that in case of psychiatry because psychiatry is something which is very very beautiful and um, it's all about talking and uh, you know giving the examples from our daily life and learning psychiatry that is all what psychiatry is and uh, in this video i am going to take on the somatiform disorders so what are the somatiform disorders somatiform disorders see guys what happens over there is that normally when we get sick we feel symptoms that is what makes ourselves go to the doctors but in some patient due to some psychiatric disturbance going on in the mind what happens over there is that without any disease so without any disease they start experiencing real symptoms so they will start experiencing real symptoms without any disease and as a result of that uh, you know symptoms and all they will go to the doctor now they will go to the doctor so doctor has a patient who is describing that i am getting headaches i am getting uh, palpitation and all that stuff so doctor will think that he is having some disorder or he is having some disease so doctor will order the test so doctor orders tests and investigation and labs so when the doctors they order tests investigation and the labs they come negative or they come normal negative means there is nothing positive in that like there is no disease or stuff like that and normal means the same thing so that is they will come negative now doctor is like uh, he is confused because the patient is having symptoms and the labs are showing nothing so he will do the physical exams so the physical exams will also be you know normal so doctor is more confused now like the labs are normal the physical exams are normal but the patient is having the symptom what should i do now the doctor will think like there may be a some psychiatric disturbance going on and yes it is a psychiatric disorder in which without any disease the patient starts experiencing the somatic symptoms like pain headaches and stuff like that so this is called as somatiform disorder 
so again what is somatiform disorder somatiform disorder is a condition in which without any symptom without sorry in which without any uh, disease the patient experiences symptoms goes to the doctor and when the doctor orders labs or investigation they all come to negative now this is what is the somatiform disorder now if we talk about the somatiform disorder there are various other disorders like these somatiform disorders for example the conversion disorder the body dysmorphic disorder the pain disorder factitious disorder and stuff like that they are you know they are classified under a heading which is called as somatic symptom disorder which is called as somatic symptoms makes sense somatic means body symptoms means symptoms so they are kept under a heading which is called as <coughs> sorry which is called as somatic symptom symptoms disorder so we have a somatic symptoms disorder which is a super heading and under the somatic symptom disorder we have the somatiform disorder now you know what is somatiform disorder you are clear with the definition of somatiform disorder and uh, uh, you are also clear about what is the presentation now let's talk about like how do we diagnose that the patient is having the somatiform disorder for the diagnosis there must be eight symptoms you know there must be eight symptoms of these eight symptoms there should be four at least four pain symptoms like the patient will say that i am having pains in the leg i am having pain in the stomach i am having pain in the head and i am having pain in the shoulders like that there will be pain in different locations so there should be at least four pain symptoms there should be at least two gi symptoms like the patient will say that i have constipation or the patient will say i have diarrhea but actually you know you order test there is nothing that is the basic thing which you have always to remember so there will be four pain symptoms there will be two gi symptom there will be one sexual symptom like the patient will say that whenever i have an intercourse with my husband i experience pain and there should be one pseudo neurological symptom now why why it is called as pseudo neurological symptom because actually it is not there the disease is not there so patient will say that i am having flashes of light like i am having vision problems so this is all neurological stuff so whenever you get a picture like this you just think that it is a somatic form disorder and uh, the diagnosis is confirmed when you order the labs and they are negative and all that stuff now my advice just don't don't remember these things like you have not to remember these eight symptoms like what are four two one one nothing just remember the big picture and what is the big picture that there is no disease actually but there are symptoms i ordered the labs labs came negative i did the physical exam physical exam was nothing so the patient has somatiform disorder and this somatiform disorder belongs to a higher class of disorder higher category of disorder which are called as the somatic symptom disorder and in the somatic symptom disorder there are also some other cousins of somatiform disorder like the conversion disorder factitious disorder the body dysmorphic disorder and all that stuff so with this much in this video i'll finish and in the next video we'll talk about what is the conversion disorder so in the next video we are going to talk about the conversion disorder so if you happen to like this video to press the like button and also share it among your friends because it will help them learning psychiatry thank you so much